What's up guys? This is a, um, how do you call it? This is a pruner and it's made by a company called Corona, uh, which had no relationship with coronavirus. Um, this is, this company has been around for a while. They make high quality, uh, gardening tools. So the reason I bought this is because our house, the backyard is actually, um, quite messy around the, uh, the perimeter of the uh, of our house so I needed something to cut down the branches and uh, um, I bought this and unfortunately I didn't have time to use it last weekend and I used just a regular hacksaw to uh, saw down most of the stuff but imagine if I had this it would work so much better so in the next section of the video actually uh, we're gonna revisit the backyard and we're gonna use this tool to cut down some of the branches so I can show you guys um, how the pruner works. Actually, I would rather prefer to have the pruner than a saw for most of the work that I did last week. And unfortunately, it didn't come on time. So um, I bought this for about, uh, I think, $20. Uh, it's, it's on sale in uh, most of the hardware stores. It's also on sale on eBay, uh, which is where I bought it for a few dollars cheaper than the, uh, the retail place. So the reason I bought this one is because it's first thing first, it's, it cuts up to one inch in length. So the blade is slightly longer than some of the other uh, pruners that you can find in the store. Um, second thing, this is the entire piece is job forged. So beautifully job forged. So it's, it's a single piece. Each, each end is a single piece and uh, it just feels great in the hand. And again, I have a medium to small size hand. This doesn't even feel like it's too big for me at all. And the second thing is the cleverly designed, um, the locking tool, the locking uh, mechanism. So um, over here, it's wide open. And if you need to lock it, you just close it and you just flip it over here and it locks it on the side. Uh, I've seen some reviews that people are actually complaining, says this thing, when you try to cut down stuff, it keeps getting over here and then locks onto the device. Uh, personally, I don't think that's gonna be an issue because if you look very closely, only like that, and then if you bump into something, it might accidentally lock, but I think in actual use, it's not really that easy to, um, to accidentally lock the device because you really need to actually push it from the underside to be able to lock the thing in place. So uh, compared to the cheaper version of this tool, which had the locking mechanism on the bottom, this is a clever design. This actually looks a lot more streamlined, looks a lot more modern uh, in terms of the design or the aesthetics of the pruner. And that's another reason I picked this one compared to the other one that actually had the safety um, thing on the bottom over here. And this is very quick to use, you just flip it and it's uh, ambidextrous, so left hand, right hand, both can use it, just totally fine. I'm a left hand user, so uh, I'm gonna use it like that, but in either hand, it, it should work perfectly fine, okay? Um, just some, let's get a closer look. And also, the blade is replaceable as, uh, as advertised over here, so uh, also job forged high carbon steel. High carbon steel, uh, steel is uh, a little bit easier to rust. So after each use, it's better to coat it with some oil or lubricants to make sure there's no rust that's gonna be forming uh, when you put the tool back into your storage box, okay? So before we go to next section, I just want to show you guys uh, the back of the, uh, of, the, of the box where the pruner came from. So it features a couple, you know, it had, listed couple features of this blade, uh, this uh, pruner. So the blade is made of high carbon steel, replaceable. The chassis is max forged steel construction for maximum strength. The handle is also max forged with a steel core. And this features a classic cut pattern. Okay. Good morning. So um, let's test to see if this pruner can do its job. Okay. So I'm going to go to my yard and cut a few stuff and let you guys know, okay? So, this raspberry is being grown out of uh, shape and uh, 
I really need to just cut it down for the winter time. And uh, let's see, I'm just gonna, and because it's got full of um, little pointy things, I can't really use my hand. Oh wow. Uh, it cuts like butter, like super easy. Wow. And even the thicker branches. Uh, now I know what they're talking about. So the design might not be good because when I was doing cutting, they actually um, accidentally closed it. So that's what the, a lot of reviewers said, that if you're cutting a lot of stuff, this, uh, this safety latch might, might caught it. And that was the first time um, it actually caught onto my hand and closed it. So that's definitely one thing to uh, consider. So forget about what I said at the beginning, that the design looks nice. However, the safety latch, I think it's easily get caught like that. See, if I'm just cutting and like I need to have more leverage and I just do that and accidentally closes. So when you cut, you actually have to make sure your hand is always below the safety la latch on this pruner um, to make sure that it's, it's not catching on to the safety latch and close itself. So basically, I'm just trimming down this raspberry tree. <laughs> so next year, hopefully, it can grow a uh, better shape. And in terms of uh, cutting, it feels pretty good. On the uh, thicker branches, it it does require little more effort to to actually cut but uh, it does cut through perfectly fine so on those branches yeah it requires a little more effort but the good thing is uh, you can always keep it sharpened okay I'm gonna trim this area use the uh, the, the pruner uh, and this branch is actually pretty thick, so I'm going to cut from the top area a little bit. Uh, right here. Okay. Not too much trouble. Do this. Right here. Oh, so this one, it's, uh, it's a little thicker and I actually, I can't cut it through. It's, uh, I probably need to use a saw for, for this kind of... Uh, thick branches so yep definitely no and uh, what about this one anything I guess smaller than quarter inch easy to cut anything uh, thicker than quarter inch probably like half an inch probably not uh, half an inch not so much okay so uh, at least for this kind of trees Yeah, small branches, no problem. So still, you you need a a, a bigger pruner or a saw for anything that's uh, that's thicker. But for smaller stuff, definitely no problem. Okay. So I uh, did a couple hours of yard work, uh, mostly using the pruner. And uh, as you can see, um, I have uh, the pruner has worked pretty good. I uh, trimmed all the branches that I could cut with the pruner and uh, look at this big pile. Most of them, smaller branches are cut with the pruner and uh, it's actually really effective. So uh, really no complaint. I mean, the safety latch is the only issue that I encountered a couple times during a couple hours of yard work and my log itself up uh, by accident. But other than that, it's, uh, it's a very, uh, sharp pruner very easy quick to use so the only uh one of the concern i would have for people with smaller hands is that when the pruner is you know fully extended it's actually uh, quite wide so it's actually kind of hard to um to to squeeze it if you have a smaller hand um 
so yep um, other than that uh, great great pruner from uh, corona and if you guys have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section down below and this is their model number let's try to see it uh, bp15180 okay uh, carbon steel forged pruner all right thank you so much guys and i'll see you in the next video